More than 11 million people are diagnosed with some form of cancer every year. And the one that claims the most lives is lung cancer. In the United States, it's surpassed breast cancer as the leading cause of death in women. But here at this Washington hospital, they're giving new hope to sufferers with this deadly disease. They've got a way of removing the cancerous lumps without surgery. Instead, they blast them out of existence with a beam of radiation delivered by a highly intelligent robot arm. This is the CyberKnife. It's actually the latest development in image-guided radio surgery. There's not a surgeon, a scrub nurse, or a scalpel in sight. More importantly, it's helping patients like Joanne Schwab avoid painful surgery. In the last year, Joanne's had cancerous tumors removed from both lungs. The first was removed with conventional surgery. It's not an easy surgery at all. It's something I wouldn't wish on anyone else now. Is it when painful? It is, very painful. Joanne's second tumor was removed using the cyber knife. Oh, no comparison. There's not. There's not a comparison at all. Just wonderful. You just walk away. And you do that for three times. And that's what makes it, that's a lot easier than having surgery. Now, here's why this machine is so incredible. Think about it. When the patient's lying down there, they're breathing, of course. And as their lungs go in and out, that cancer lump is moving. So the radiation beam has to hit a moving target. Well, amazingly, this clever robot arm can actually do that. It works by recording the breathing movements of a patient's chest and combines that information with X-ray pictures of skeletal reference points or tiny metal markers physically implanted into the borders of the tumour. This allows precise delivery of radiation during any point in the respiratory cycle. Pinpoint accuracy means there's much less chance of damaging healthy tissue. It also means the radiation doses can be much stronger, giving a result that would normally only be achieved with radical surgery. Dr. Brian Collins is an oncology radiologist at Georgetown University Hospital, where more than 250 patients have been treated with the cyber knife. So that, that was the cancer lump before the treatment with the cyber knife? That's correct. And after the treatment, which uh, scan is that? The scan at that point is this one. Okay, yeah, it's gone. The lump, the lump yeah. is completely gone. Completely gone. So if, if you can catch the cancer early enough, you could actually remove the tumour with no operation at all, just I, using the cyber In knife. the future, that will be feasible. The cyber knife has been used to treat about 10,000 patients in the US, Japan and parts of Europe. While it's not suitable for all cases, Joanne now has a lot to look forward to, including meeting her new granddaughter for the first time. I plan to live a long time and be able to walk around, you know, and that cyber knife was, was, was really what helped me the most, I think, at the very, very end. It gave me, it gave me a new lease on life.